Hello everyone, a new revolutionary paper came out about realistic design of warp drive. In the future, we may be able to create warp drive. Let me explain. This is our favorite. In a science fiction like Star Trek or Star Wars, those spaceships use warp drive to travel around the universe. Without this kind of warp technology, the universe is too big for us to travel around. So science fictions need these kind of warp travels to explore the universe. But you might have thought that these kind of warp drives are fantasy and it's impossible to make one. And then maybe professors say that it's another impossibility in Star Trek universe? But no. About warp drive, in 1994, there's actually a scientific paper published by Professor Miguel Alcubierre. So this is his paper. His design of warp drive is something like this. So in the middle, there's a Starship Enterprise, and then using the gravity, you can bend the space-time due to Einstein's general relativity. So using strong gravity, you shrink the space in front of you like this, and you expand the space behind the spaceship. Then it'll be like this. Suppose you're leaving the Earth and then traveling to the destination star, and if you shrink the space, between you and the star, you can get closer to the star and you expand the space behind you, then the Earth is gonna be far behind. In this way, even the spaceship is not even moving because the space shrink and expand behind. So you get closer to the destination or you can travel quickly to the destination. That is Alcubierre's warp drive. If you show the gravitational field in 3D, it looks like this. So in front of the spaceship, space is shrinked with a strong gravity. And then behind the spaceship, the space is expanded. This allows the spaceship to travel very fast, even faster than the speed of the light. This was also a revolutionary paper. A Kubernetes warp drive made it mathematically possible to create a warp drive. However, this a Kubernetes warp drive had one problem. You can shrink the space in front of you using a very dense object such as neutron star. You put neutron star in front of you, then because of its gravity, space in front of you is gonna shrink a little bit. You can do that. But behind you, you need to expand the space. This, you cannot do that with gravity because gravity is a pulling force. It shrinks the space but you, it cannot expand the space. So to expand the space behind you, our query needed um, some exotic matter with negative mass and a negative pressure. If you can find something with negative mass, then its gravity is going to be negative, and so it have a repulsive force to expand the space. However, <laughs> We never found such an exotic matter in this universe with negative mass. So this is mathematically possible, but physically impossible situation because we don't have any exotic matter as far as we know. However, earlier 2021 this year, there's a revolutionary paper came out from this Eric Lentz. He found a solution to create a gravitational field like Alcubierre drive using only positive energies, which means the matter we know. The detailed mathematics are a little bit complicated, but he found a solution using soliton wave and then put starship inside the soliton wave. The example of the world field is something like this on top of me, but the important point is he can create this only using sources with positive energy, which means known substances. There are still problem of this Eric's paper. For example, required energy to create this soliton world bubble is 100 times Jupiter mass. This is 30 orders of magnitude larger energy than we can create with nuclear plant. So this is still unreasonably large. We need to save energy somewhere. And also, 
he showed that this solid tone wave bubble can travel faster than the speed of the light because it's warping. However, at the beginning, how you can accelerate this solid tone wave bubble into the speed faster than light is not clear. So we need to figure out how to do that. So there's still a long way to make it possible, but still, I believe this paper is revolutionary because he showed that only using no physics and then no materials, this warp bubble can be created. Before that, our Kubernetes warp drive required exotic matter, which we don't know if it exists or not. But now we can create a warp drive with known technology and known physics. So in the far future, maybe we can create warp drive and then we can say, like Captain Picard, warp one, engage. See you next time. Ah, and also this Dr. Renz discovered this because he had extra free time because of the COVID-19. Dr. Renz couldn't go to the office to work, so he had some extra time and he thought about this idea and he wrote a paper. So maybe this is a you know, byproduct of COVID-19. Hmm, interesting. If you like the video, please like it and then please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.